The house behind me is one out of 30 properties that will be demolished this year. I'm Penelope Lopez, your Vermilion Parish reporter here in Kaplan, where I spoke with a family member who said this house is filled with many memories. I'd rather see it torn down, being that it's not in use, but I sure hate to see it go. Because we had plenty of funds on this dance floor right here. We played pool, we, we uh, pinball machines, so, and it don't exist no more, so I'm really going to miss it. Miss Julia's place, once a thriving club in the heart of Kaplan in the early 80s, is now, after years of neglect, set to be demolished. A lot of times the windows are broken out. It hasn't been lived in for many years. Uh, it, it, the structure is falling apart. For property owners like Mr. Willie, learning that his mother's club and grandmother's house was set to be removed was a hard pill to swallow especially since he was unable to care for the building due to poor health. I know she wanted us to, uh, to keep it going, but me, I had a wife that was on dialysis for 27 years or 23 years about, and she's been gone for a few years. So my, my time was mostly trying to take her back and forth and all that good stuff, which I did good. This year, the city of Kaplan is receiving federal aid through the Blight Clearance Program. The $250,000 block grant aims to help revitalize a community by demolishing blighted properties. The city sent out 50 letters to owners of properties that fit the requirement. 30 landowners agreed to have their homes removed free of cost, and nine wanted to rehabilitate at their own expense. Landowners will still keep their land post removal. We want to grow our city. We, we, want, we want the opportunity uh, for people to, to move into Kaplan and and uh, obviously if you have a lot of blighted property it uh, it dissuades people from coming into your community so that that's the biggest thing is that we we we're making every effort we can to make our community presentable to, and uh, a place that people want to come and live for Mr. Willie He'll keep fond memories and a lifetime of stories close to his heart. Next week during the city council meeting, they will vote on how much they're willing to spend to demolish these properties. I'm Penelope Lopez, your Vermillion Parish reporter, KATC-TV.